Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel ClickView Enthusiast. I'm Abhishek, a ClickView learner, and in this video, I will share my learning about the inline load feature of ClickView. So, before I uh, show you how you can use inline load feature, let's see the case where the inline load feature may uh, come into existence. So here you can see this database or, or the, in this table, we are showing the information for year, quarters, the sales wrap, how much sales they are making, the span that they are doing on sales, the incentive that they are getting for making these sales, and the country code or the country information in which they are doing a sale. But this country code will not be relevant for the end users or for your management who knows the country name but not the code which you have assigned it. Now, uh, sometimes in your databases, you use the codes because you want to save the space in the databases and most sometimes uh, or probably the most of the times this coded information is well known to the developers. So to develop this application, front end application in ClickView, we need to decode these country values so that end users can understand this and that's where we can use an inline load feature of ClickView to decode these values. So for that, let's move on into the edit script where we will use the inline load feature. So for that, uh, this is the same table which we showed you. Is, these are all the column names which, we, which you saw in the front end in that table box. And now for inline load, we will click on insert. We'll look, go to load statement, load inline. And first column we will create for this load inline table is the country code and the second column will be the country name itself and T or Y sorry about that perfect okay so country code is now I know well in advance that I have a code from 1 to 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now let's give name to the countries like uh, one is suppose Mexico, Spain, uh, New Zealand, um, Australia, um, suppose China, India, USA, um, sorry about that, you um, S E, and then um, suppose you have um, um, U K, U and then K, perfect, and we click OK. So now you can see we have this load star inline table, and the only thing which we need to do now is put a join statement here. So that will basically join these two tables based on the country code column uh, which is present here and then uh, we will see the relevant information, uh, the country information into the table. Click on save, reload, click OK. And now you can see the country information is also coming. So 3 is for um, say New Zealand, 6 is for India, 2 is for Spain. Now it is very easy for the end user to get to know now we and here now we can remove this country code because it's no longer relevant here. And we have the meaningful information over here. Um, also very quickly I want to go into the edit script and want to show you that even if we are not putting this join statement and we already know that uh, in click view if you have the similar column names the table will join automatically so even if i have removed this uh, join statement uh, the end feature or the mapping should work fine so saved it and reload it and click ok now you can see uh, here the table is working fine so uh, this edit script this inline load is very useful uh, in such scenarios where you need to decode the information uh, in this way you can maintain your inline tables and uh, you know make the life of end user very easy apart from that uh, the other thing or the other way which we have used is uh, you know producing some specialized information 
So for example, if I go to the front end and show you this year and quarter, sometimes uh, uh, probably in your organization you may have realized that uh, this is not how you are presenting the information but uh, you are using some you know combination of year and quarter so for example q1 11 q1 12 q1 13 so in this way also you can use the inline table and uh, produce such kind of custom information uh, so that you are uh, you know uh, making sure that you are following the policies for presenting the information. So these are uh, the couple of ways you can use uh, the inline load feature for um, you know, producing the uh, good information for your end user. So I hope uh, you will find this uh, video useful and uh, probably you can use this inline feature in your uh, practical scenarios while developing the, the application. So I will meet you in the next video uh, with a new topic. Till then, bye bye.